quite a spectacular moment for humanity as the Indian Prime Minister did say there India is officially on the moon this is history in the making or history has been made Saleh that's and absolutely I think, right. Uh, this, this is, you know, it does not get bigger than this. <laughs> this is the moment that the scientists had been looking forward to, the whole nation had been looking forward to. Right. I remember very clearly four years ago when Chandrayaan 2 had not succeeded, it had broken a billion hearts. Mm -hmm. But now what has happened is, this is a culmination of a dream mm -hmm. that, that we've been looking at for the last several decades. Mm -hmm. This quite clearly shows that India is in the big league. India is now the first nation to have done a soft landing on the southern pole of the moon. India has now become the fourth nation to have demonstrated the capacity to make a soft landing on the surface of the moon. And this just opens up so many doors from here. Like the scientist there, the ISRO chief was pointing out, you know, what we are looking at is, is a critical moment. It is an incremental step, but at the same time, this is not the handiwork of one or two individuals. Mm -hmm. There are just in this one particular mission, where almost about a thousand scientists were involved. But it is a generation of India scientists who worked so, so hard for this. And indeed, as the scientists did say, that uh, maybe there are plans to take humans to Venus and humans to Mars. So this is a spectacular moment for humanity. And like Mohammed Saleh did say, that this will be a spectacular m a moment going forward, not only for India, not only for India, but also for the entire world and for those space enthusiasts who Absolutely. are willing and are wishing and are hoping to go to space and are going to are hoping to explore the moon, are hoping to explore the planets, are hoping to explore Venus, are hoping to explore Mars, if there's life, life in Mars. So this is indeed a great feat for not only India, I must say, Saleh, that we forgot to do something that uh, has never been done before because this is history in the making. And as journalists, I think it is our moment and our prerogative to actually congratulate ISRO. And this is my way of congratulating ISRO for the greatest feat because this is a hallmark of history indeed. Absolutely indeed. Because this last 20 minutes of terror, you know, everything hinged upon that. And as the Vikram landed decelerated. Everyone had their hearts in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Because that moment when you could see the spacecraft, which was in fact coming down, anything can go wrong. Exactly. I mean, the silence. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is something that the scientists have been working on for the last many years. Mm -hmm. And we had come very close back in 2019, I, I remember. And this was the crucial moment where India, during the Chandrayaan 2 mission, had in fact stumbled upon. But in Chandrayaan 3, right. you know, this is what the ISRO chief Somnath had said that we have done our homework, we have done every simulation that needs to be done, mm. and this time around we'll succeed, which is what we have done this time around. Because remember, this is quite past. remarkable in, in terms of the, the success that this, um, this, this feat has accomplished. This is quite outstanding. And also to tell us more, we are being joined by uh, Mr. Mahesh Anand, who is a professor of planetary science and exploration at the UP Open University in London, is joining us live on this broadcast. Uh, Professor Anand, this is a momentous occasion. It is historic, no matter how, how we look at it. India has become the first nation to land on the south pole of the moon and the fourth nation to demonstrate its capacity for a soft landing on the surface of the moon. You know, what is, give us a sense of how big an achievement this is, sir. Well, first of all, I think uh, it's a it's a great uh, historic moment, and it's a very proud moment for everybody around the world, and especially for those uh, who have uh, some connection with India, like me. Uh, I cannot tell you how happy I am uh, for all those people who have given so many years of blood and sweat and sleepless nights to actually make this mission uh, successful. Uh, this means a lot for the uh, development of uh, the future of space exploration. As uh, your previous commentator mentioned, India is the only fourth country ever to have uh, demonstrated controlled soft landing on the moon. And in fact, the first country to have uh, landed somewhere which was technically considered to be most challenging. Mahesh, 
This is Eric talk, uh, talking to you. I just want to know what happens next now that the uh, rover has actually made its soft landing on the south pole of the moon. What happens next for Chandrayaan-3 and also space uh, enthusiasts going forward? Uh, sure. So I think uh, th there are going to be a few checks that need to be performed. So all we know is that the lander has uh, landed uh, successfully. Uh, there would be a period of time over which uh, the instruments on board uh, would be tested. Uh, there would be some communications that would be established. And once all those uh, tests are complete, uh, then uh, there is a small rover that is actually also carried by this lander uh, that would be um, uh, released uh, through a ramp and that will get onto the lunar surface. The rover itself carries a few instruments that will make scientific measurements and together with the lander and the rover combination, there would be a number of measurements that would be uh, made that will inform us about the nature of the lunar surface in the vicinity of where the lander is. And the expectation is that where the lander has uh, reached, there might be some water ice present. And it would be a phenomenal discovery if this lander rover combination actually are able to confirm the presence of water ice uh, at the lunar surface in the vicinity of this lander. Absolutely indeed. Uh, Professor Anand, do continue to stay on with us. I'm told that we have our correspondent. Siddharth MP is joining us on this broadcast. Siddharth, this was the crucial moment that we were all looking forward to. India has successfully soft landed on the southern pole of the moon. You've been talking to the scientists at the ISRO headquarters there. You know, give us a sense of what they are telling you at this moment. So, Mohammed, 1.4 billion hearts swelling in pride. There's no understating this. They're doing, you know, a fantastic job and this is ample testimony to what they've done so 1.4 billion hearts swelling with pride after chandrayaan 3 has touched down on the lunar surface as far as the scientists are concerned it's the coming to fruition of four plus years of tireless efforts in fact it's a penance to give you a perspective of the language that the scientists use each one of them doesn't see chandrayaan as a spacecraft for them it's not a satellite it's not uh, metal and solar panels and computer chips they call it their baby that's how seriously they take their missions. That's how close to heart their missions are. We saw in 2019 uh, the heartbreaking scenes of uh, the former chairman ISRO sort of in tears when Chandrayaan 2 did not happen. That's how emotionally attached they are to their work. And now you're seeing the cheer, now you're seeing the joy, now you're seeing the excitement and exuberance. And that's a reflection of how much they love what they do and how much of uh, you know love that they have of what they do for India. A record created today for history books and we stand witness to that. Five years ago, four years ago, when Chandrayaan 2 lifted off from Sriharikota, we were there. When Chandrayaan 2 uh, couldn't make it, the lunar landing particularly, yes, we were there as well. And now Chandrayaan 3, just days before launch, we were there witnessing the rocket uh, up close LVM-3. And of course, 14 July, the vehicle lifted off. And here we are 40 days later, mission completely accomplished, the Indian flag on the moon. So it doesn't get better than this. As far as the scientists are concerned, we heard them speaking about the criticism last time. And now... I think it's going to be praised from all over the world for what they've done, Mohammed. Absolutely, indeed. This, this is, of course, a momentous occasion, uh, Siddharth, because, you know, this, as you said, this, this is a penance that, that went on for the last four years because the scenes that happened in 2019 when Chandrayaan 2 did not succeed, that was heartbreaking. But what we have witnessed today is, is pure joy. But this is something that we've achieved because of the hard work, you know, the scientists who worked over time to, in fact, achieve this. Eric, this, this is a big moment. And what this has also gone on to show is that even nations from the South can, in fact, do this. Even nations from the South can, in fact, do this. And I liked what the Indian Prime Minister did say, that this is not a feat for India only. It's a feat for humanity. And all other countries who are planning to go to the moon, who are planning to uh, go and explore the planet, they can now do this using Chandrayaan-3 as an example that uh, Chandrayaan-3 did make it and did make it to the moon. Now it's, we are now observing what will happen next to the rover. We are now observing, we are now, we, we, we will now see if there's actually water on the moon. We'll now see if there's actually life on the moon. So this is a big feat not only for India, but for humanity. Siddharth MP, I liked what you said, that uh, this is a baby for ISRO, and the baby has landed on the moon. 
I just want to know from you, what are the gains expected from Chandrayaan 3 going forward, Siddharth? So now that the lunar landing has happened, the soft landing is successful, the major gain for India and Indian space program is the fact that hereafter, for every lunar mission that India undertakes, you can be 200% sure that a lunar landing is possible. Last time it was a lunar soft landing that was a stumbling block. Henceforth, for any number of years, you can say until eternity, lunar soft landing missions are possible. You want to land man on the moon, you want to land a craft on the moon, it's possible. You've mastered that technology. You've even now, uh, you continue to get data about what happened during the entire phase of the landing. That's all it takes for them to build up upon the success. That's the number one gain. Lunar soft landing, the former ISRO chairman, Dr. K. Shivan told us, is also the foundation of soft landing on other celestial bodies. Of course, there have to be more sophisticated planet-specific modifications that have to be made. But the fundamental technology is the same. If you've mastered the automatic landing sequence, if you've mastered the software, the sensors, perhaps with much more modification, sophisticated studies, it's possible to soft land on other planets as well using unmanned robotic spacecrafts. And to talk decades into the future, when the technology is matured in India and once India is ready, you can even land manned crafts on the moon. That's right. the possibility that this opens up. And as far as Chandrayaan 3's unmanned studies alone are concerned, let's tell you that exploring water ice, nobody has gone there before. We are front runners. India are the front runners clearly at the Lunar South Pole. You have 14 days at your disposal to do all the experiments that you desire, to do, uh, you know, to operate all the payloads and all the science experiments on board the lander and rover, and to, you know, create history also. There's also a special element that awaits. We're being told by some ISRO officials that there's a huge surprise that awaits in terms of uh, 1.4 billion Indians. Chandrayaan 3's lander rover combination are to make a mark on the moon, literally and figuratively. Okay. So, of course, by making a landing, you've made a mark. But what we're expecting next is when the rover sort of um, traverses the lunar surface, on the rover's six wheels, there are two special symbols imprinted. One is the Indian national emblem, the lions at Sarnath. The second is the ISRO logo. So as the rover traverses, the lunar regolith, the powdery talcum-like surface of the moon, there India's logos will be imprinted. And this is okay. something that is going to motivate so many people. This is something that is just beyond the scientific uh, uh, you know, experiments. This is something that's going to inspire Indians world over and not just in India. This is the most significant aspect, Eric.